Hi guys, well here we are once again. Well not once again, this is the first one. This is of course the famous K40 eBay laser. Making the first mods, I just got it yesterday. I've taken out the gantry here because it's running really rough. If I push it, stops, stops, stops. So I've got to free that up. This way is a bit of movement. Typical, huh? But not too bad. So I've cut the exhaust down. I cut it with an angle grinder. I've seen some people doing it with a jigsaw, but uh, you get a nicer cut, obviously, with a, the angle grinder. And so far, so good. You can see <laughs> nice Chinese job on the pins there. All at an angle, of course, but all that crap's got to go anyway. Got to make a new bed. But I thought I'd just take some first shots. Everything else looks pretty good. On the wiring, not too bad, of course. I had to do the famous fan. The wiring in here was just twisted together. <laughs> Classic. Anyway. This works, and um, I have an idea for that as well. As you can see, normal deal here at the back, and this fits in. Huge gap. Um, I have a plan to block most of this off, and so it fits a bit tighter in there as well. We'll come back to that later. Okay, here we are with our gantry out. This feels really rough to me. Starts and stops. As we run down here. It wants to stick in places, not too smooth at all. It seems to be scratches along inside this rail. We'll remove this and see if we can smooth it up. Could be the little runners too. To look at them. Anyway, let's remove this and have a look. Obviously it's going to catch along here. It's another one. We should be nicking here too. Damn. What's the work to do? Okay, you're going to be using this material to block off part of this fan and make it a bit uh, better fitting. This material here, like thin, a few mil. I don't want to do this. It looks like it'll work. I'll put it on here and cut it out. And uh, Knife. Sorry about the noise in the background, it's my miner. She uh, kicks up and up and down all the time. Let's cut a nice square out of this for a start.
Okay, we true. Move the bolt. off this top part and only leave enough for the exhaust where the outlet is. I'm thinking with this thickness it should be enough to make it nice and tight in the, the fitting at the back of the car. That's the plan anyway. I just get an idea where our cuts are going to be made. A minute. Pen. Okay. There. Here. Here. Can you see that? Let me just eyeball it. There we go. And cut that out. And that should approximate our exhaust hole. This material is like a, a foam sandwiched between two sheets of paper. There we go. Let's see if it fits. Pretty bloody good. Eh? Like I bought one. Alright. Check with the fan. Screws up. I might bend these out a tiny bit. A little bit more room. Hmm? No. Okay, let's plug it in. Bit of a mess here. Okay, fans running, blowing.
Gonna do his sagging. I got this. What would you call it? Steel spongy thing. I'm gonna try and get this nick out with that damage in the the rail there. See if it's gonna work. Doesn't look good. A bit better, but the best. Hmm. Get a fine grit sandpaper. And knock that off. Get it a bit smoother. Okay, I thought it was recording, but obviously not. Okay, I fixed the gantry now, a lot better, it's running smoothly. Both axes, pretty good. Uh, it's not perfectly square. I lined it up as best as I could, but I still had a few millimeters on this side. But, pretty close. Pretty close to But it's running a lot smoother now. Both sides, both axes, nice. Okay, so I drilled a couple of holes here, which I'll notch out. And this will account for our height as we adjust. We'll go up and down. So, let's see how we go. Well, let's move on further. Okay, here's the result. A <laughs> disastrous result. Drilling through the ribbon cable. Not the smartest move I've ever done. So, if anyone else attempts this... <laughs> Move the ribbon cable out of the way first. It would be a very advantageous. Okay, here's my uh, ribbon cable fix. Well, temporary fix. Let's look at the new one. Uh, tested. Looks good. Let's try it out. Okay, here's the lab lift in place. I pop riveted it to the base of the laser cutter. And everything looks okay. And I have my 3D printed 
Dick, to go on top. As so, it's come out nice. I bet that'll work out right. So, as you can see, just your raising lower, and this will sit on top eventually. So, I, think I can raise and lower this. This I haven't got it in place yet. It's actually connected with duct tape. But I'm going to 3D print a coupler of these because actually this thread coming out here is a left hand thread. There's a wishbone inside there. One side is normal, right hand thread. And this side is left hand thread. And I'm going to make a coupler going on to the this knob which is sitting out a bit far too, I have to cut that down but that will adjust it up and down obviously okay everything in place I made a printed coupling there as you can see knob on the outside raise well lovely So the idea for this uh, lab lift came from 3D, no, what was it? DIY 3D Tech. Fantastic source of information. I'll link it below. This platform also he designed, available on Thiniverse. I'll link below as well. Very happy. Um, not the most stable platform, that's for sure, you know, um, but pretty good to do the job. Pretty happy with the turnout. Um, let's see what we can uh, develop in the future and I've got some ideas and I'll post them online anyway thanks guys thanks for listening and uh, give us a thumbs up if you liked it any questions leave down below and I'll try to answer or maybe you got some ideas too thanks share guys